Welcome everybody, my name is Ryan. I work for the Jacksonville Public Library and today we will be doing the class how to create a budget using spreadsheets. After completing this class, you should be able to understand what a budget consists of, be able to create a simple budget using a spreadsheet, learn basic skills of formatting and formula creation in spreadsheets. The three categories every budget consists of you have income, which is all of your money coming in. These are your paychecks, uh, you, maybe your tips, uh, interest, and if grandma sends you $100 for your birthday, that is all income. Expenses, which is all your money going out. These are your bills. It's rent or mortgage, car insurance, car payments, uh, gas, groceries. And the third category is profit or loss which is simply all of your income minus all of your expenses. And in the end, you will either be in the red or the black. Uh, black is good, that means your income was more than your expenses. Red is the opposite. What you will need, any spreadsheet will do, this is just a basic budget. So Microsoft Excel being the most popular. I work numbers is Apple's version of a spreadsheet and it comes free with any Apple device. Google Sheets is Google's spreadsheet and it comes free as long as you have a Gmail account. LibreOffice is another one. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to open up an Excel spreadsheet here. And here is what we are going to create. This is a finished uh, budget, just a basic one. So up here in the upper left-hand corner, you have January budget, it's a title. It's just a good habit to get into, Just put a title down for your spreadsheet. And here is the first category, income. And right here, you just put some numbers in, where your money's coming from and how much. So, and you notice there are dollar signs here. We're not going to put in dollar signs for each of these. We are going to format these cells so they automatically populate the dollar signs. And right here, we have a total. That'll be our first formula. So here is category one, income. Then category two is expenses. And I've split this up into two groups, budgeted and actual. And then we have our second formula down there, which is just adding it all up. And here is our third category, profit or loss. And this is all of our, another formula, it's all of our income minus all of our expenses for the month. And then lastly, we will create a chart here of all of our expenses. So I'm going to come down here at the bottom of the screen and just click this plus sign for a new sheet. And I'll have a brand new sheet. In the upper left-hand corner, I am going to label this. Like I said, it's a good habit to get into. And I'll just label it January budget. Let me hit enter to go to the next cell. Now, you want your titles to stand out a little bit. So I'm gonna click on it and go to the Home tab, Font Group, and I'm gonna click on this B here for bold. So it sticks out a little bit. All right, so now let's go to our first category, which is Income. I'm gonna hit Enter, and I also want to bold that as well. So Home tab, Font Group, Bold. All right, now we just start putting in where our money comes from. So I'm just gonna put paychecks, um, Tips, feather, that's the $100 from grandma for your birthday, and total. All right, if you find that things are spilling over into the next cell, like here and a little bit here with the word paychecks, you can actually increase the width of these cells. The, um, between column A and column B, there's a faint little line here, and when your cursor goes over that, it turns this black cross, and you can click and drag, or you can just double click, which will automatically go as large as it needs to be. All right, so now we just start plugging in numbers here. So paychecks was put in, this person made $3,500. Enter to go to the next cell. Tips, we'll say 500. Other $100 from grandma, and then total. So we have our uh, monetary values, but there's no dollar sign, there's no comma, it just doesn't look very professional this way. So we are going to format these cells so they puts in this information that we want. So first thing you do is you need to highlight the cells that you want formatted. And I, I even want this blank one here because we are going to put a number there. We're gonna add these up. 
and in the home tab, number group, by default, these are all formatted to general. I wanna change that because these are monetary values. So I, you can either choose currency or accounting. I prefer currency, so I'm gonna click on that. And there you have it. So now it has a dollar sign, it has a decimal, but I don't really like those extra decimals because I'm not gonna worry about cents. So right below what we just selected, uh, the currency, you have this little arrow here where you can decrease decimal. I'm gonna click that twice. There we go, now that looks much better. You don't want your spreadsheets to be noisy. You don't want extra information on them. Just keep it simple. All right, so we are gonna do our first formula here. And this is such a simple formula in spreadsheets that there's a button already ready for us to push. So just make sure you click on where you want it to go. And in the home tab, all the way to the right, editing group, there's an auto sum button, click it. All right, so let's go over this formula here. So all formulas in spreadsheet start with an equal sign. That's what tells a spreadsheet you're about to do a formula. Then right here, you have the function, which is sum. It's adding up the uh, cells above us. Then after that, you tell it what you want to add up. So in this particular case, it sells B4 to B6. Enter. There's our value, $4,100. We want this number to stick out a little bit. Typically in spreadsheets, when you have a formula in a cell, you want that cell to stick out. So I'm gonna come up here to the home tab, font group, and there's a fill color here, and you can choose any color you want. You, there's a little drop down box. I'm gonna stick with what I have there, that green color. So there, that is the first category. This is category one, income. Now we do category two, expenses. All right, so I'm gonna split this up into two groups, uh, budgeted, tab to go to the next uh, cell over, actual. And I wanna hide, uh, bold these as well, so same way. And you can do more than one at a time too, just click and drag. I have two cells selected there and I just come up, hit the B and they are all, um, they're all bolded now. So now I got to start putting in where my money is going. Now I'm just going to create a very short list. Obviously this is going to be very specific to what you spend your money on. I'm just going to write in a few things that are common bills, rent, car payment, insurance, groceries, dining out, entertainment, um, we'll put miscellaneous for this one. And then we'll do a total. So like I said, obviously, I mean, in the real world, this would be a lot longer list. All right, so now I'm gonna do what's called pre-formatting the cells. Cause right now, if I put in a number 22, hit tab, it, it's not formatted correctly. There's no dollar sign, there's no decimal. So I wanna delete that and I'm gonna just, highlight the cells that I want formatted. So I want all these, because I know numbers are going to go into these, so I might as well choose the uh, formatting that I want. So I'm gonna go to the Home tab, Number Group, and same things we did before, Currency, and then I'm gonna decrease the decimal by two places, one, two. So we don't actually know if it works yet, because we haven't put anything in there, but I'm gonna start plugging in some numbers here. So say 1200 for my budget, 1200 for my rent, tab the next key. There we go, so it worked, uh, that's the formatting I want. So I actually spent 1200, enter to get to the next one. We'll say 250 for car payment, uh, insurance, we'll say $100, $100. All right, so groceries, you were budgeting for four, tab for the next uh, base over. But you actually spent 600 dining out. You're trying to be really good at 100, but you tripled that at 300. Entertainment, say 100, you went 150. Miscellaneous, say, know, let's go 200, and you actually spent 300. All right, so we have our numbers here. Now we have to add these up. They do this the same way, and we're going to do them both at the same time. I'm gonna highlight these. 
So just go to the Home tab, all the way to the Editing group on the right, and just choose Auto Sum. And there we have it. So you were planning, you budgeted for $2,350, but you actually spent $2,900. Now this is a good way really to nail down where your money is going. I mean, and we'll even go a little further here when we put in the chart. So that is category two. Now I want these numbers to stand out. Remember, there's a formula in here. And you can tell that if you just click on it, come up here to the formula bar, you see equals sum B11 through B17. So you know there's a formula there. So I'm gonna uh, highlight these with a home tab, font group, and I'm gonna make them green. All right, so here is category two, expenses. Now we just have one category to go, which is profit and loss. Now you can label this anything you want. You can label it money left over, money to put into savings, whatever you want. Um, it's, it's up to you, but uh, now it's just uh, down to one formula here. So remember, the third category is all of your income minus all of your actual expenses. Now this one's a little more complicated than just hitting a button. So we're gonna start with the formula rule. All formulas start with an equal sign. All right, then we gotta come up here to our income. So cell B7, highlight that. Then hit the minus sign and go to your actual expenses, the total. Cell C18. Now I wanna point out this color coding here. If you notice in the formula, B7 is blue. If you actually go up to cell B7, it's color coded blue. In the formula, cell C18 is red, and so is the actual uh, cell C18. Now in this simple formula, it's hard to get fooled, but when you are using a far more complex formula in Excel, these color codings can really help you out a lot. So I'm gonna hit enter and there we have it. So there's $1,200 left over. So this person's in the black. So I want this highlighted a little bit. So I'm gonna go home tab font group green. All right, so that those are the three categories. We have one step left. I want to um, put a chart in here. So the first thing you do is tell is Tell, let Excel know what you want the data source to be for the chart. So I want a chart to be my expenses. So everything I have highlighted will be on the chart. You do not want to put the totals in the chart. So, but I want everything else except for the title expenses. I don't have that highlighted. All right, so now I'm going to go up to the insert tab, charts group. Now, if you've never used this, this can be, can look a little intimidating because you don't know what to pick. Um, with each version of Excel, they seem to get more and more of these charts in, and there's quite a few here, but I'm going to come up here to the far left here, and it's insert a column or bar chart. I'm going to choose this drop down. Now, one of the cool things about Excel is you can just hover your mouse uh, cursor over these, and you get a glimpse of what it's going to look like, and you're not committed to anything until you actually click on it. So I'm going to stick with this one up the far left corner and just click it. So there's my chart. Now I want to point out the color coding. So if you click on your chart where the data source is, it'll stand out in colors. So everything that I selected is on this chart. So once again, you want to get into good habits here. The title chart title is not a good title. As a matter of fact, that's a horrible title for uh, a chart. So we're going to change that even though we know what it represents you still want to get in the habit of changing that. So I'm going to put in expenses and click off. There we go. We just changed the title. And so why even have a chart? Because all of the data is right here. I can tell how much I spent, uh, what I budgeted for, what I actually spent. Well, when you only have about seven or eight lines, yeah, you don't probably don't need a chart. But if you have uh, a lot more lines in that of data, charts really come in handy because it is a visual representation of the data. Just by glancing at this, I can see that I spent way more money on groceries than I budgeted. Same with dining out, entertainment, I spent a little more, miscellaneous a little more. Now like the rent and car payment, those are usually fixed from month to month. So they don't change that often, but the things that I have more control over, I went way over budget. And so this is a good way for you to really nail down where your money is going. 
So that's it. That's uh, that is a simple budget. We have a title. We have uh, income, expenses, and profit or loss, and a chart. All right. Thank you, everybody. That is the end of the class.